Hey everybody, welcome back to Phoenix Point. We got ambushed and thankfully it's the group that has uh, some units. I don't think this is gonna be too bad. We could probably get back to the Geoscape relatively quick. Uh, the problem is, as you'll soon find out, <laughs> is that we have people with and without gear because we've been stripping them to give uh, to the others. And so this is going to turn into a little game I like to call hide and seek. We have literally nothing on this guy. We have nothing there. All that we have is a hell cannon over here. And we're going to try to use it. And we're going to try to survive. And we need to survive three turns. We need a little bit of a better angle here. Let's check this corner. And then I'm probably going to try and just chuck everybody into the truck. Some wheel points. He's dazed. That's good for me. Let's see. Where is my vehicle? Wally, you're going to need to own here. You're gonna have to be the tankiest tank that ever did tank. Uh, I don't love that he's doing a little shredding there. Look, I'm not a huge fan of it. You know, not a huge fan. Uh. Okay. Well, I could start bringing him in. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to try and keep these guys out of vision as best as I possibly can for right now. This thing's going to have to tank for a few rounds. And uh, this, as we've talked about, was the downside. And we've been working towards being able to not have this happen, but it did finally happen. Ooh, we're spotting a bunch of enemies. The good news is, is like, look at this layout. We haven't seen anything like this before. And... It's like pretty much optimal, I would say, Moving now. for our current situation, which is um, prey, <laughs> which is I'm going. just hold it together and try to avoid being seen. Uh, let's go. Ooh. Shields up. I mean, he can kind of fight. We do have we do have his uh, rage burst thing. We can blast all of his weapons if necessary. Okay, shields down. Okay, I need two more two more turns. Uh, let's see. We could we could jump away. Could just go for this. Which doesn't feel awesome. So here's what we'll do. I'm gonna war cry this. Just to reduce his uh his actions. Then I'm gonna run. And he's likely to come through here, right? So we need to maybe work around sitting in this middle section, maybe. Dashing. <laughs> this is pretty scary. This is pretty scary. Uh, okay, so this is the furthest that you can go. Let's tuck you in here for now. If I can remember to name this correctly, this will be called When You Get Ambushed Without Any Weapons. So he's going to run through here, likely. If I group these guys up, does he have a launcher? He has a spitter head, which could suck. Sprinting to position.
This uh, might last through on the first one. Or it could, if we get lucky, it goes right in the hole. That's fine. Uh, equipment is damaged. His arm is disabled, so we can't shield up. And I think this... Action points to... I think he can still use that, actually. Let's give him a target. If he wants to go on the vehicle, then so be it. And then we'll just be blasting like Warcry and stuff. Ooh, that was actually a decent chunk of damage there. Disable the tire. Okay, so the mobility is going to be hampered a bit. Okay. 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 Need to survive one more turn. The problem is, we might not. Okay, he's pain chameleoned. This guy is still sitting there. I think this is enough to kill him. Yeah, he's dead. I'll set up a heli cannon shot down here. In case that pain chameleon comes back. I got these covered. Uh, we found him. He seems to be overwatching. Oh no. Not Wally! Did he miss? I think he missed. Oh crap. Well, this is fine. This is our go turn anyway. God, where is my exit? Where is my exit? Where is my exit? Where is my exit? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, Smalls! You have got to be kidding me. That's so far. Well. I'm not gonna put anybody in this vehicle because if the vehicle goes down with people in it, they die. Um... I'm going to move in here. This might be a really good war cry opportunity. It's going to hit three of them. Oh, but I'd really like to get the kill on this guy. We've got return fire shots from there. Ready to fire. There's our boys. This guy's back here bleeding. But then, can I take the return fire damage? Is the question. Uh, so if I come up here, these guys do see me. Uh... We do have a potential mind control thing. Oh, but these guys all have actually really high will. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. So then we likely want a psychic scream somewhere in here. Or we just run, right? We need three actions for this. Like, come on, bro. How many do I need for panic? Only two will points. So maybe that's the play for him. He's only got four. I could come over here and then we could, uh, we could induce panic on this guy. But I just don't want him shooting. The others I think are far enough away where they're not gonna see our vehicle. That's what I'm trying to save right now. 
well, and like everybody else. Um, actually, I could I could mind control him. I could mind control him. Even better. Even better. Now, I could send him way back here. So that he becomes a target. For all of these others. I'll leave him. I'll put him in between cover so he's got something to hide from. My jet jump is being blocked. I'm going to war cry this. That's going to impact a couple of them, and then we'll move out. This is actually, <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Like it's not fun, okay? I'm, I'm really concerned that our guys are going to die here, but uh, it's also it is kind of fun. If you know what I'm saying? Making haste. Good thing the enemies don't Overwatch a lot, because that could be a bit of a problem. Uh, we do have a rally the troops scenario. Uh, it's not enough to get out. But we also have dash, so we'll use this first. Um, let's go here. And I think I actually will rally the troops and move everybody further. Uh, we'll leave him. Uh, we'll probably move him to full. Okay, we can't actually get any further. We can move further if we take half cover. I was thinking we'd have enough to maybe get around these, these corners, but uh, no, I was wrong. That is incorrect. So I actually think we're probably best off where we are then. Big impacts and movement here. This guy can't do anything. He won't be able to get around far enough. Oh, never mind. You bastard! Oh! What a snipe on the vehicle. Okay, that's a... That's an expensive setback, this mission. It's an expensive setback. Oh, my God. And we still have a long ways to go. Everybody else should be able to make this. Oh, that's really unfortunate, but um, I will I will build a new one. Where is that? Okay, he's far enough away. Relocating. I'm a little bit choked that that vehicle got popped. Well played on the aliens. Let's give him some credit. Okay, Triton. Uh, blood sucking arm. Actually, that's the play, isn't it? Because doesn't he? Blood-sucking arm. Vampiric. So he'll probably heal from this, right? 
move right next to him. Oh, not enough. Wait, what? Not enough free arms? Arms is... Oh, both of his... <laughs> He's got one arm. Come on. How many arms does this guy need? I don't know. I'm going to see if we change that. Yeah, no, not enough free hands. Okay, cool. Well, now we can't do anything. That's awesome. Uh, just hide over here then. All right, cool. You've done your job. I appreciate that they're at least prioritizing us trying to leave. And that guy sniping that vehicle from downtown. This guy coming in for the overwatch. It's pretty nice because they have this target, but they just don't care. They know that the priority is in the back there. Alright. Who's the tankiest? Looks like that's fine. We'll just run everyone this way. To avoid that. Oh, shit. I was going to say to try and avoid this overwatch, but... Yikes, guys. Danger, 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 danger. Uh, well... I don't know how you're still mind controlled. We did survive though. Um, all things considered, that could have gone significantly worse. Uh, but that's a pretty huge setback on our uh, having to buy that thing again. But it was it was it was fun, and that's that's ultimately what video games are about, right, guys? It's about fun and learning. In good times. All right, cool. Um, we'll take those, I guess. Now, <laughs> uh, we do have other we do have other options. We have this thing, which is like a a healing vehicle. Twenty armor, five hundred hit points. This is seven hundred hit points. Way more armor and can kill things. I think that's, in my opinion, that's kind of a no brainer. Um, it's going to take a day to build, uh, but that does mean that these guys need to come back. Looks like we have a promotion on Toku. So deal 100 damage to all enemy entities within 10 tiles. How sick is that? Let's take this and I'm going to add some extra willpower here, even if it's pulling from that pool. Research-wise, Nurgle's Wrath. That can queue up at the bottom. Doesn't matter. Manticore is coming home. And you need to come home as well. Foxtrot. Foxtrot needs some of the other stuff. Or we could look for Phoenix Forward. Uh, why is it that these ones are grayed out? Oh, crap. I still have a bunch of stuff turned off. Okay, well, that's not what that was, but okay. Oh, you know what it is? It's that, uh, nope. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, now they're fine. Now they're all the same. I don't know. I don't know what that represents. Okay, Mist Repellers, Medical Bay, Uplinks, uh, Living Quarters. Hmm. 
Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I need to come up with some cash, which we can do in uh, here. We can scrap a few things that we're holding on to. Do I need six sniper rifles? Probably not. Maybe return one of them. I don't need any of these now. Um, I don't need these. I don't need these. Actually, if we want to avoid that type of situation, I should maybe keep those. Here's the missile launcher for the Jericho guys, which is kind of cool. Any big items that we're carrying a lot of? Actually seems kind of okay. We're going to scrap this. And then let's... Oh, I already did queue it up. My god. My god. I'm losing it. Okay. Uh, just come to this base. Oh, that's so not efficient, though. Phoenix Forward has a medical bay and living quarters. Let's go here. These guys have arrived at this base. So let's get the team dropped off. Wait. What were we doing coming back here with the Manticore? We have that priest we need to drop off. Okay. Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point, Phoenix Point, Phoenix Point. And then these guys are at Foxtrot, right? All of them? Okay, cool. So these guys are going to train. I'm happy about that. I need to bring you to Phoenix Foxtrot. Okay, that's good. That's on our way. See if we can get there. It's going to be close. All right. So, now. Let's, uh, let's equip these guys. So he's already set up. I'm fine with this. Uh, he's a little over encumbered. Oh, he's carrying extra of these that he doesn't need. That's fine. Cassandra is good. Micha's good. He's super good. Ariel's good. And we're good here too. Okay. So they're all set. Let's see if we can get them up here. Okay, we got there just in time, it looks like. There's no defenders. Uh, it's Pandoran enemies. And we'll be able to recoup some of the costs. Basically, our entire Scarab coming back. Uh, let's go ahead and tackle this. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would be really cool if we could get everyone some gear. We're getting there, actually, slowly but surely. Um, after this episode, I will spend some time to kit out everybody with, like, the, the essentials. And then if we need to specialize any of our soldiers, we will. The nice thing about having a lot of unique uh, soldier classes in Phoenix Point is that you don't have a ton of overlap. The armor is the biggest thing, but weapons-wise, you can see it makes a lot of sense to... Uh, to keep things varied, so. Okay. Okay.
Snipers, snipers, heavy, shotgun. Uh, little scarabs. We need to keep seven alive. Let's see now. I'm going to uh, start by just putting this guy up here. I'm curious. What do we got going on? Um, if I can, I'll still go for this kill, actually. I think we just take this. Hmm, hold on. Maybe we'll do a... Drop a little grenade here. It hopefully totally doesn't miss and blow up our drone as well. Excellent. Excellent. Identifying target. And that's that part sucks, but you know, what are you gonna do? If I gotta blast through there, I will. Thirty. Okay, he's toast. So now, let's uh, let's set up a round of uh, Overwatches while that spider drone goes and explores. We'll set this a little wide. Cover this corner. You're not going to do anything. Let's set an overwatch here. And then... We'll overwatch down here too. Uh, let's make this as wide as we can. Anything you see, you shoot. Overwatching. Oh, damn! Disabled spitterhead, at least. I don't think he's going to be able to do much from here. Oh, come on! All right. So one of the things, one of the things I'm seeing now with uh, more enemies. Oh shit! This could be helpful. Okay, so we got a siren here. Uh, people are freaking the frick out understandable uh but please please everyone chill just relax okay Gotta just relax focus. that's not that's not great that's dario's head we're going to avoid shooting at dario's face okay I'm trying to aim you got this Disabled the arm. Got rid of some armor. Disabled the head. See you later, will points. Bye bye. And then. Could come in here for a little bit of a beatdown. Whoops. But I also have an option of seeing something to that right side. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's uh, heal this off. Get rid of the bleeding. On it. Uh, that sucks. Could throw it in here. We have more enemies coming in this side. 
that arm being destroyed, that really, that's really not great. You know? It's really sad. She's dead. She's dead, but uh, these guys that are coming in, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now we now we spot it. <laughs> I'm gonna jump back here. It looks like we're out of vision. Okay, civilians are running. Oh, okay, I see. So they went into a panic because of the uh, the siren as well. Gonna have to try better. Try better? Okay. He's tried better. <laughs> Harder, you know. I'm surprised he's taking all those shots with how bad they seem to be. Okay, so civilian, I'm guessing. Civilian, civilian. This civilian is not having a good time. What the frick? Oh, really? We got a fireworm blaster? Are you serious, dude? Okay, then. This is not your run-of-the-mill thing. Everyone's losing it. Um... Oh, these are acid worms. Okay. I don't see where the others went. Hostile. Well, found them. Acid worms. That's going to be a thing. Pain chameleon, see ya. Um, I think I'm just gonna spawn these down here. I'm a little bit worried with how these react to um, let's see now. To how how these react to civilians. I don't think they're gonna go after the civilians, but. I don't think they'll differentiate if an enemy is nearby and say, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this, you know? Also, I don't know where those fireworms are at, so... I'm just gonna set up a wide berth here. If any of them come close, then we'll take a shot. And by fire, I mean acid. Run, civvies, run! Jeez. Damage. So, when I'm placing those out there, I, I, I'm i consciously aware of the fact that, yeah, they could go down, but also, if they do take a shot at them, it's something that I don't have to shoot at, that I don't have to take damage from, you know? Oh, I see. Some are landing up here, maybe. Right there is good. Poof. Yes. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Um, reload. So we're going to save the super heavy blast for the end there. On my 
kind of want to open this up. I could send out a spider drone pack. This guy can't do anything about that. You know what? Uh, I will do that. Loud and clear. This class turned into one of my favorites once we got the actual weapons. Moving fast. I'm going to start shuffling to this right side so we have better angles on stuff. And let's do this in case some of those worms make their way over here. The worms can't jump, but I don't know... I don't know how they react, like, from high ground, if that makes sense. Skadden, I'm going to move up because we want to use his uh, Rage Burst against the Chiron. We have a grenade. That's kind of cool. Um, why don't I just recover here? One minute and I'm with you. So that she can spam stuff later. And then... I'm going to set this up here as well. Let's try and watch these closely here. The ones here, two landed next to us though. Okay, now let's see our little spider bros. Spider bros, spider bros, go and blow up whatever you can. Good job, excellent work. Keep on going, kill the Chiron. We also have a siren. Well, those things own. Okay, the siren is not active. Uh, he's on the second floor. And I don't know. Oh, this is the. Uh, Preparing fire. This is another worm. Nice. Nice. I will quick aim this. And we'll take a shot down here. Got the torso disabled too. All right. I'm gonna step out. I guess we will just rage burst this. Oh, come on. One more. Nice. That's going to help the will decrease up top. I'm going to dash in in case we need two shots here. Enemy down. Enemies down. Two shots. Unnecessary. could reload again. And actually, Good idea. I'm going to send a spider drone pack up top. I know these cost money. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. But they're so cool to use. Excellent. And then I can overwatch here in case this acid worm comes down. I'll even I'll keep take it a bit open. further. Let's go. <laughs> classic. Classic, classic. I don't even know if that would do anything to the worms anyway, but...
We'll do a long range overwatch here too. Holding position. I got civilians bleeding. Is he underneath? Guys, we got an enemy right here! What are you doing? I don't know if these are like some super advanced drone. Yeah, there. Okay. <laughs> what the frick? Maybe one of them, like. Uh... Yeah, that daze. That's great. Maybe one of them. Like, goes out on a, a certain path, and regardless of what happens, he continues that path. I'm trying to get vision of this thing, but... Okay, let's not use any more of them. I think we can kill this siren alone. Just recover. You can spam your abilities. I'm hoping that she's like active now. And we'll kind of hunt. Oh, he just blasted himself there. Sick. Torso gone. Or damaged. Damaged. Oh, disabled. Not bad. Oh, the poison. Do your worst. She can't do anything. She's a big idiot. Cool, we're just clearing it. Just clearing it. That's that's great. Um, I'm thinking this poison stuff is very strong. Like, come on. Identifying target. See ya. Okay. Good job, team. Excellent work. <laughs> I love how each of these comes up as a separate thing. Uh, the nice thing is we are still gaining uh, XP for the group. And we're still doing a good job of, like, getting supplies. Things are going... I'd say pretty well. Um, I wish this wasn't broken. Because it is. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We're going to scrap some of those quivers. Crossbow quivers? Yeah, let's get rid of a bunch of these. Eventually, we'll use them, but I, the poison ones are the ones that we want, right? Actually, hold on. Do we have a... Uh, I imagine this, the poison ones are separate. It's not just the gun that's applying that. Where are they? Hold on. Let's just check on him. Yeah, so the cro the poison ones are separate. So I'm safe to get rid of some of the others. Okay. 
scrapped. Now, what's the status? Refills. You guys are all good. Uh, wait, are you? To live. Now you're good. Okay. So, Prisoner of Ice is something we were heading towards. There's a base in North America. The active structure's up here. We are researching Project Dome of Void. It's going to hit nine hours. Uh, Scarab repair build is happening soon. What does Foxtrot have? Medical base being constructed. We're actually fine. We're actually fine. The only reason I'm not doing this lair is because the Citadel, if you recall when we did the research for it, it was saying that the lair uh, are capable of merging, leading to an even larger, more dangerous structure, which then has to be the Citadel, I would imagine, right? So I'm going to see if I can fly out to Prisoner of Ice with the Manticore. Research Enemy bases within mist. Uh, within range of mist repeller suffer 20% reduction in global attack strength. Okay, cool. Domovoy, named after the Slavic household god, makes use of new insights into Pandoran biology to better protect Sinedrian havens. By modifying mist repellers with infrasound emitters, we can disorient the Pandoran forces, disrupting their communications, make it harder for them to coordinate their attacks. So not render havens entirely secure, but it's a step towards building a better world. Representatives of the Terraformers faction have noted that while the selected infrasound Frequency does not have an effect on humans. Pandoran biology adapts at an accelerated rate, so technology does not represent a way of ending the war. The nature of Sanhedrin reveal witness their fear. Hiding in safe zones. It's like children <laughs> trying to keep out the world. Apostates from reality. Escaping to shallow dreams of comfort. Afraid to dream the deeper dreams. Afraid to plunge into the deep black sky and swim. Yes. Yes. Man, their voices are cool. Yes. Are really cool. All right, so they're pissed at Sinedrian. Too weak for this world. Yes. Shocking, I know. Weak and broken. Broken. Hide in their gardens. Pretend the world will change. But we know the truth. Truth. Yes. Change is already here. We must adapt. We must learn. Yes. yes. Become greater. This is the only hope. Everything else is delusion. Delusion. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. At war, at war. 99%. So I'm, I, uh, I mean, I guess that's, you know, the most that we could ask for, right? The disciples of Kanu Haven is under attack. Um, we're still heading home to, to this one, Phoenix Forward. Uh, that's got a medical bay and living quarters, so that's fine. Um, we're going to have to pick up the Scarab in nine hours. I'm not going to worry about this invasion. That's fine. They can have Anu. Okay. You're just going to be cool there. Nice. Okay, we can pick where it's deployed. Um, we're going to pick... Just looked at it. Is it Phoenix Forward? God damn it. Oh, it does show us. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah, Phoenix forward. Sick. So now, vehicles, new scarab, enjoy. Wally 2.0. Okay. Wally's doing great, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Blood dim tide. The remains of New Jericho squad have been found in the wilderness. It would appear that one of the soldiers killed the others in the sleep, gutted them, and arranged their entrails in an elaborate spiral pattern. And then sat in the middle of the pattern until, as far as we can tell, he starved to death. Wow. A Sinedrian haven is under attack. Ooh. Okay, there's no way I'm getting there. There's no way that I can get there in that in that period of time. 
It sucks. Um, but I can't. Our mist repeller starting to repel. Slowly but surely. Okay, so those are done. Very nice. Do these take a lot to manufacture? Or are they instant? I'm guessing they're going to have to be built. Yeah. And then the ammo costs a little bit. Actually, I could probably... One of them... The next one is... Um, like a piercing one, I think, right? I'm going to whip this up anyway. Just to make sure that we've got it. Haven destroyed. Yeah, Haven destroyed, all right. Um, just heal. Okay, fully healed. I'm going to move up into this area just to kind of pr protect it. Magazine, yeah, fine. Uh, we could try helping them. Defending force, they should, they might be okay. Yeah, attack repelled. Okay, sweet. And finally, we're down here. Operatives discovered the cryogenics lab. Symes mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site. As far as we could tell, Symes came here to examine samples collected in the 60s. Unfortunately, the facility has been compromised and now functions as the base for a group of raiders. All right, so we're going to take out our uh, A squad. But actually, both our squads are A squads, technically. They're both really good. They're both really good. Uh, let's just make sure that we're all filled up there. Bunch of spider stuff. Telev's still in there to, to own. Um, I'm going to sit on these. I don't think we need to waste them. And uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, we're going to do this. These guys are going to head up to just kind of be in this area. Watch now. This will be the next thing that gets attacked. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. We'll start hovering these guys around different points of the map. And realistically, I should I should actually try and just hire some more, some more people. Um, I don't know what the what the Mutog thing does. I, I can't even... I, I have no idea. No clue. Uh, we should steal another plane, perhaps. Um, I actually like our planes pretty good. But if there's another the kind of middle ground one that's not super slow, that would be great. Because I don't think I want to grab another one of these deals. You know what I mean? But uh, anyways, let me know. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.